<laughs> I got a pizza planet token. And I got that fat dude. Ah, ah, ah. This level's over. This level's <laughs> over. And I'm going to smack you in the face with a large tuna fish to feel how happy I am. I've nearly got well, I'm finished with elevate. No. God damn it! <laughs> what happened? I left elevator hot without talking to Ham. <laughs> uh, I have to look at Slinky's horrible face again. I have to collect every coin. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, an elevator hop as well, one of the worst. You actually have to go through the entire level again. Good luck with that. Good luck. Oh. <laughs> I'm so awesome. No, I'm not. That's, that's harsh. Things happen, shit happens. This whole race is now over. <laughs> not necessarily. I'm just killing the enemies, I don't know why. I guess because I you may as well. Time. You could go <laughs> Yeah. Damn, being shot in the face with the face. Is that even possible? Yes, if someone rips their face off and throws it at you, therefore you've been shot in the face in the face. Not nice, but it still happens. Okay. Gotta get out of this level, gotta get this level, gotta get gotta run, gotta run now, gotta run, gotta run now. I can't remember the lyrics. Um. 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 Um, never mind. Um. Gotta run, gotta run now. I know Zelda with lyrics. Ooh, infinity! And beyond! I can't remember that one. Zelda with lyrics is awesome. Zelda with lyrics. Do recognize this music? Well done. Uh, Why? Because uh, it's the motherfucking legend of Zelda. Here we go now. I'm an old man and this cave is my home. Take this, it's dangerous to go. Let's save over a pansy boy. I'm saving over a cloud. No, I'm not. I would like to save over a cloud. No one likes Cloud because Cloud's a freaking woman. <laughs> I'm Cloud. I have problems with my life because I didn't sort there. Uh, right, the thing that annoys me about Cloud is okay, yeah, he had a problem. He did see his best friend die and was macro poisoned and then took on his entire you know, his friend's memory and became his friend. But when he found that out, he proceeded to sulk for the rest of his life when he, <laughs> when he had a girl next to him who was always looking out for him, who fancied the pants off him and had big breasts. Now, Cloud seemed like a big boob guy, to be honest. I'm just saying, <laughs> why does he make something of his life? <laughs> you know, you fucked up so much of it. Turn your life around, stop being emo and angsty because he was kind of cool before he got Mako poisoned. But after he got Mako poisoned, he actually just died. And every time you win a fight in Final Fantasy, Cynthia, he always, always goes, I can't say, I'm not going to sleep tonight. Fucking. God damn it. I don't want to live anymore. <laughs> right, that's my opinion of Cloud. Just so all you angsty fanboys out there that happen to want Cloud in their pants, just know that, you know, Cloud's been in my pants twice. <laughs> God damn that Mako stuff makes them go for hours. I'm joking, that's foul. Nope, it's perfectly legit. You are over 16. <laughs> no, it really isn't. The Bible says homosexuality is a... No, I'm joking. <laughs> this is wrong, therefore I'm failing. No. Oh yeah, I did that um, at school. My um, RE teacher, because he's Christian. I was um, I um said, um, oh please can I use your computer? There's no other computers available, and I really need to use it for co coursework. And at lunchtime, it's just like, uh, no. It's like, doesn't the Bible say give unto others, and the others will give unto you? No, I'm pretty sure it doesn't. It's like, yes, it does. I remember you taught us that last year. No, I'm almost certain it doesn't. <laughs> it was really funny. It doesn't apply to this situation. What? It was really funny. One of our RE teachers um, we have actually looks like um, the guy from Prison Break. I wouldn't know who that guy looks like, so okay, I'm like... going to agree and nod politely. I like. I, I, oh god, the things in his level just bomb you. It's like, leave me alone, you son of a whore. Goddamn harlot. Okay. Way off topic, but Top Gear, 15th of November. Woo! <laughs> That's the um, live show, isn't it? Um, no, I think that's a new series. Oh, thank god. TV's becoming excessively boring without Top Gear, new tricks, our Doc Martin, and we watched Doc Martin. And without Doctor Who. <laughs> yeah, I watched the recent the last episode of Doctor Who, the um, one with, uh, I was about to say Andros, but you know what I mean, Dav Davros. 
Yeah, our oh, Davros. Uh, yeah, Journey's End. Actually, that wasn't the recent episode. The one at Easter where they went to the desert planet was. Well, that was the, that was the last real episode of Doctor Who. The last, the other one was just one special one. They need. Yeah. The okay. Last real series, I meant. Yeah. No. Uh, yeah. That was a really good episode. Yeah, the way everyone was brought together was just superb, and the acting in that episode was absolutely fabulous. I mean, yeah. Julian Bleach is a god. Who's she? Julian Bleach. He was Davros. Oh, I thought um the guy who played um the father was pretty good, the father of Donna. The mother I never liked. She's always looked like too stiff. <laughs> him, but... You don't want to be in the way when my laser goes. I loved how um. When uh, the Daleks are facing Harriet Jones, it's like, Harriet Jones, former Prime Minister, yes, we know who you are. <laughs> even, the da even the Daleks show some sign of humour. Yeah, the, it's just, it's, it goes to prove that they do study Earth to make sure they, they haven't got anything to defeat them, which is actually intelligent. <laughs> yeah, but then the, 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 um, the, 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 the Dalek, the creep the the on this one, like, Anyway, for those of you who haven't watched Dog 2, watch it, and if you live in the Amer America, it's probably on BBC America, which sucks, by the way, because you get everything, like, three years later than us. And um, your Americans, stuff. torrent it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Series 4, episode 12 and 13. Let, we, we, do not, we do not advise you to that, we do not tell you to do it, we just it even opens as a suggestion, we do not endorse doing it. No. That makes no but logic then. It, it, research it, find it, <laughs> buy it somewhere. It's not much. It's pretty awesome. Let's see if you like yeah. that stuff. Anyway, read laser time. Yeah, I'm just gonna go back to that though. The Dalek scheme was actually brilliant. Taking the whole of all those 27 planets a second out of time just so no one would find them. How genius is that? Yeah, a second out of time with everything else. However, the logical, it's kind of a logical fallacy in a way because if you think about it, They've taken it a second out of time. The Doctor travels through time and space regularly. So did he take it? At, did they take it at one second out of time in sync with that particular time? Yeah, it's out of sync with the rest of the universe. It's a tiny pocket of time that you can't do time travel with. You have to sort of like find the link to it and then drag yourself through. It's like it's like the void. You can't get to it unless you're dragged in. Yeah. The void is a logical fallacy as well because if you get dragged into the void, it's no longer no, it's no longer void because there's something in there. Yeah. Logical fallacy for the win. Uh, who cares? <laughs> it was brilliant. Yeah, well that's what I've been saying for a while. It's like, it's like in, if, if something gets dragged into the void, the void must instantly just destroy itself and become void again. Otherwise, it's not void. No go. The Daleks would not have survived. And anyway, let's let's get off the Dog Two debate because many people will be like, "What the hell?" Daleks didn't survive the void. No, they survived in the capsule. Uh, in the sphere? Yeah. Yeah, because the sphere wasn't occupying any sp any um, density or anything. True, it was made of void, technically. Yeah, that's true. Although, they were... Nah, no, whatever. I'm not going to get into that discussion. Oh, anyway. I've pretty much been jumping around this place for like five times now, and I still haven't made it across onto that bloody thing to get the animal. I've been collecting my coins for the last eight minutes now. <laughs> No, well, at least my, I, you see, I keep be keeping a lead, but as it is, it's just like a stalemate. I've got to do this, come on. Not really, you're miles ahead now. Yeah, but it's a stalemate as in terms of who's gaining and who's not gaining. Didn't mean to talk to him, I don't like him. Wait, wait a second. You're on this level next. What level? Al's penthouse. Yes. Oh, that's not good. But I have to go back to Wallys and Gullies eventually. True. But you're, you, you, I spent ages on Wallys and Gullies, so technically... Oh, well, I've got to get this horseshoe one. I also have to go back to Al's neighbourhood to get a token. The race token, because I was doing it without doing the little cheat thing you do. It's not really a cheat, but anyway. It's awesome. It's awesome. It's a, mine's a quicker way. Mm -hmm. I hate myself. I... <laughs> Gonna run, gonna run now, gonna run. <laughs> Damn right. Ah, just cut the token and fire. Upwards, 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 uh, uh, upwards, upwards. <laughs> upwards. Just stopped for a second. Oh dear. Oh, coin! Coin! Last coin! Down! Go down! Down. Actually, I'm gonna leave the level. No, I'm not. I'm going to go down! <laughs> 
kill it with fire. Okay, this is the probably the most annoying bit. <laughs> Yay! Actually, no, the, the, annoying, the most annoying bit of the entire game is the train set, and that's next. Yes, yeah, of course it is. I don't believe you. <laughs> don't believe me on what? That the train set's the most annoying bit. Well, it is if you get it wrong, because you constantly have to switch back and forth, but if you don't get it wrong, it's fine, I guess. I won't get it wrong, because I've memorized how to do it. <laughs> And that makes that then that makes me fail instantly on this level. So I'll just need to game my speed. Basically, I'll be able to do it within thirty seconds. <laughs> no, I won't. <laughs> if you do ham for if you do ham last an elevator hop, he just hits the wall and goes straight down. <laughs> I've seen that before, it's hilarious. Awesome. That is fail. It's like watching it's like super fail blog. Was fail. Are they actually gonna make a decent game for Toy Story 3 or is it just gonna be a bunch of mini games? No idea. 